Last time on Sea of Stars. Two children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage. But I also sense one who does not belong here. Uh. Is he brave or foolish? Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Sea of Stars right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. In the last episode, we got here to the Elder Mist trials. We were able to meet the Elder Mist, and uh, we started the the uh, the event that would lead us to see if we can use magic without using magic so that's what we're gonna do today that is our plans thank you so much for clicking on a video huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these sincerely appreciate you and i hope you are enjoying the series if you are don't forget to leave a comment likes all of that stuff and uh, let's see if we can make this series pretty successful okay without without further ado let's continue close your eyes and go to the elder mist trials oh yeah what a cool area. It's so neat. So the Elder Mist told us that we weren't going to be able to use uh, any magic attacks, but the enemies are only weak to magic. So I guess we're going to we're going to see what happens here. Doesn't matter which side we pick. I think we'll be getting our little tutorial soon, but we have an enemy called Turn. Let's see what we can do. Ah, there we go. That attack did nothing. A spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hmm. Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Which, by the way, her name is pronounced Valir. Not Valerie. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna pretend anyways that, that her name is Val... No, okay, fine. It's Valir. I don't know. That's a French-ass name, Valir. Maybe that's live mana. Could be. I feel a kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. And we can use R2 to boost here. We'll pull that in. And then... Whoa! It worked! How does it feel? Oh, like power! So if I attack, it should do magic damage now. And... It sure does. Just like that, we take it down. That was amazing. I want to try it next. Boosting has been unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold R uh, R2 and press X to absorb a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to their next action to increase its power. To their next action, so it doesn't necessarily even need to be physical attacks or anything like that. That's interesting. In the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you are dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. What a sweet mechanic. We didn't even unlock the full the full blown mechanics here, friends, until until now. That's amazing. They're giving us a camp here to set up, as well as a save point, so you know what that means. This live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. See if they say anything else. I want to boost. Yeah. The Elder Mistrials. After that, will officially be Solstice Warriors. Officially, the Solstice Warriors. All right, so I don't think they'll say anything else, so I think it's time for us to head on out. We'll rest. I just wanted to see if we would get any extra conversations here in camp. Sometimes it's worth, it seems. Sometimes they don't really say much. So let's continue forward. We have, uh, I guess, I guess in case you're coming in, we are a little bit into level three. We have Healing Light and Sunball on our boy Zale. Valir has Crescent Arc and Moonerang. Our boy Garl, the warrior cook, has Hurl and Nourish. Uh, and for equipment, we have the Squire Sword Adventurer's Vest, the Copper Staff Basic Armor on Valir with the Leeching Thorn. Normal attacks heal for 15% of the damage done. And our boy Garl has Cauldron Lid and Adventurer's Vest. 
We also gave him the Abacus, Abac Abacus, uh, which displays non-boss enemies HP in combat. But we're about to face a boss, I think. Or not? Let's start with this side. Remember, this is a blind playthrough. I have not, you know, done this before, so everything kind of learning with you. Gosh, even these, even these areas are like so distinct from anything else. We find a shiny pearl, which we know we can sell for some, for some little moolah. That was a big jump there, Zale. Damn. I love the verticality in this game, y'all. It is uh, a really wonderful addition, I think. Whoa. That's cool. As I as I leap from such great heights. Maybe don't do that. If you're trying to, you know, go on. I was just like, oh, I wonder if we could jump over it. No. Oh, surely we can. It looks like we can get over there. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we have to go around. Like, what is this? Sky ruins? What is the lore of this area, you know? Oh, we get a early boost here, so we'll be able to do that. Remember, we have to boost to be able to do the damage that we need to do. Taking those down. A little boost for Valir. Ooh, whoa, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Blocked a little bit there. We'll have Garl wanted a boost, so we'll let him do it. Nice job, Garl. That magic does so much against him. Go ahead and boost with Valir. Delicious. Three items drop 72 XP. Uh, okay, those three items were literally just berries? Pfft, come on. Looks like we have a couple of choices of ways we could head now. Can't go th oh, maybe not. Can't go this way, but if we jump down here, we'll be able to flip the switch, make this bridge appear. Multiple bridges. You'll love to see it, friends. And we'll head back up this way. This was, oh, that was the area I was like, oh, I wonder if we can jump over there. No. <laughs> no, you can't. Whoa. Well, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got, my platform's gone. All right, why don't we, we'll continue on. I don't think we need to heal up just yet. We'll save that center platform for last. Why? I don't know. There's a block here that surely looks like we'll be able to get that down. Every area we come across, I'm just more and more impressed. Basic armor. I don't know if we can actually equip that. We can, actually. Uh, it is better than the adventurer's vest, so we'll go ahead and we'll put that on sale. Valir has basic armor as well. You know, actually, why don't we give, I think, ah, uh, Garl can't use the basic armor. Not a solstice warrior, that guy. All right, battle against two. Can't use magic. We can use healing light though, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just attack. Nineteen damage every single time. That is that is a that is a lot of damage. Luckily, these things only have five HP, so pretty easy. Now we can nourish. We'll go ahead and nourish our boy Garl. So it looks like no matter what, as long as you attack. Oops. As long as you attack, you'll get the boost. It's not timing based. 48 XP and we have two, uh, well, just berries yet again. Let's go ahead and flip this lever here. I feel like that block has gotta be something, right? 
guess maybe we'll find out in a sec. More enemies here. We were able to get an early boost. Love to see that. See ya. Remember, we can't use magic here. We can use we can use, we can't use offensive magic. We can still like heal ourselves and all that jazz. Nice. Was able to get the block there. I'm not seeing the star shoot off that should. Wonder if I accidentally unequipped that. See ya. Let's actually check real quick after picking up those berries. Uh, oh, I must have turned it off. I guess. My bad. My bad. Like, I'm not seeing the, the successful ding there. All right, so looks like... Unsure why this area is here. So we need to flip the lever again to bring the platform back up. And then we can do it. The puzzle too hard for me, I tell you what. All right, was not able to get a boost there, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and healing light on Valir. There we go. Now we can see our successful dings. Let that go to Garl. Beautiful. Nice. So you can get multiple boosts together, which is pretty sweet. Get multiple berries yet again, which is good for that MP regeneration. Making some berry jam. I'm sure we'll be able to make some other berries related things. What I really want is spicy food. I want to be able to craft some spicy food in this game. All right, just one platform remains. I think we're going to continue here without healing up. I think we'll be okay. Probably need to heal after we complete this one. Let's see if there's anything over here. Gosh, I just, every single time I play this game, I sit down and record, I'm just impressed at how beautiful they've been able to make, beautiful and varied, they've been able to make these, um, these landscapes. Seeing if there's anything hidden in any of these alcoves here. Looks like there's something on that wall over there that we'll definitely need to check out. Floating thing here in the center. What do you all think, by the way? In the, the previous episode, we saw that Graves and Erlina want to tell us something. What could it be? To get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Oh, gosh, no. Of these two actions, which one gen- Oh, wait, that's- Okay, I could, I could do that. <laughs> Attacking is the answer. That's, that's neat. Guess we know what those are for then. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Nice tightrope action. I was, I was kind of expecting the question to be, uh, oh, don't do that. Don't do that, friends. I was just curious. I was just curious. Anyways, I thought the questions were going to be, like, challenging. Like, oh, no. But they're just basic mechanics. What is the name of the school you went to? Ah, Zenith Academy. Solstice Elementary. Wait a minute. I want. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we get it wrong. We won't. Because I don't want anybody to think I'm stupid. More stupid. We got a recipe for mushroom scramble. Okay, I need to make that. Mmm, that sounds delicious. This game makes me so hungry. Alright, we got this last question to answer here. I think we can do it. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, so. One very important solstice warrior duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during which natural phenomena? The equinox, the equinox, and uh, the solstice. 
<laughs> the eclipse. Like part of me wanted to find out what happens if we get it wrong. If you know, let me know. I'm assuming you probably just have to fight some enemies. All right. That is the third one done. Let us rest and save before interacting with whatever that's going to be. And before we go into this boss fight, something that I wanted to point out that I just didn't notice is we have more than, we have more than three save slots, y'all. You actually have nine. I, my bad. All right. Let's interact with this and see what happens. This is our last chance to prepare. Do you feel ready? Uh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana. Can you master it? We shall see! <laughs> the use of spells is now allowed again. Wait, we have to- what the- Face me, children of the solstice. We have to face- th that is so cool. What? Alright, so we have- Looks like we have two different- we have the Elder Mist himself, and the Elder Mist sword. So, let's go ahead and sunball here on, uh, the sword? On him? So sword! Nice! Um... What if we hit the Elder Mist? Sword active counters. Okay, don't do that, friends. Don't do that. Let's go ahead and bash here. Nice. We will slashy slash with our boy Zalaroonies. And then our girl, Valir, is actually going to boost three times, which is the highest boost I believe we can do. And then we're gonna Moonerang and hope that we at least hit the sword once. Okay, that's a lot of damage. So the sword currently is no longer active, so let's go ahead and see what we can do to the... Ow. What we can do to this guy. We do have Solstice Strike that we can use now, but let's go ahead and keep building up our combos just in case. We'll go ahead and swallow this live mana. 16 damage. Let's go ahead and uh, use Nourish on Zale. Look at this, y'all. Our second boss fight. And it's against the Elder Mist himself. I wonder if that's what we were being warned about. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to continue to attack... And then hope that, uh, let's boost one more time with, this should work, and then she'll boost, and then Moonerang will only be on the Elder Mist himself. Damage. Elder Mist Sword is feeling better. Yikes. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually combo here. Mending Light, I believe. Uh, ooh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's not do that, actually. Let's go ahead and Healing Light on Garl. As long as you don't attack when the sword is healthy and active, it doesn't feel that bad of a fight. I think you can do it no problem. 
unfortunately, he's going to be able to get this attack off. So I think what we should do here is we don't really have an option unless he's at very low health and we just don't know. I think what we do here is Mending Light so that we can for sure survive this attack. Healing Mist. Oh, he heals his sword. Okay. I could deal with that. Pretty much rinse and repeat here. Not a super hard battle. We're going to go ahead and attack and finish off the sword with our boy Zale. And Valur is going to boost. And we're going to Moonerang again. Because Moonerang... Oh, I can't. I don't have enough MP. All right. What we're going to do then is... We're going to Berry Jammer. Let's see if we can, with these boosts, potentially be able to finish off the fight. Woo! Maybe if I wasn't so bad at that. I don't know why I messed up on that one. And Sunball! There it goes! We defeated the Elder Mist in his construct thing? 240 XP, baby. Oh, ah, how formidable! Oh, a bright future awaits you indeed. Zael and Valir, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it! You're the best! Ha, huh, there it is! We did it! I have consulted the mist of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the Sacred Pond. And I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Ha ha ha! Don't take too long now. Whoa! So the platforms are back. Does that mean we can actually like? Curious if we go over there. Nothing's. Doesn't look like anything's here, but I guess it just allows you to go back in case this way the chests aren't missable and all of that, which is kind of neat. I wonder if the enemies respawned. So the enemies did in fact respawn, which is cool, and you can use magic against them, no big deal. However, I don't really recommend grinding at this point in the game, and the reason for that is, from what I've heard anyways, if anybody joins your party, which who knows if, if we have anybody else from here, they will actually join with random bonus stats assigned to them based on the level. So you actually kind of want to keep your level a little bit lower as you go through the game until you have everybody or you're sure you have everybody. Good morning. The time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose your friends should address that. Uh, address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! All it takes is for you to stand on a celestial ruin. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. <laughs> now, concentrate and bring us the dawn. Use R2 and L2 while standing on celestial runes to change the time of day. So we can advance to... What? What? I can do what now? Woo! How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Ho 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 ho! That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. They were put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now, your journey can begin. 
Come, and meet me beyond this chasm. Uh... How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mist of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above. Let's we'll see what happens. I do... I do what? Ah. Look at that. That is... We got puzzles, baby! This is so neat. And the music, I just can't get over the mountain trail music. It's so good. Huh. Whoa. Now, can we go back? Well, dear viewer, I went and backtracked for you so that you don't feel the need to have to do so. And, uh, well, you don't. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do. So, ever missed islands landing? Let's do it. Hello, elder mist friend. Whoa, that's a big, that's a big hand. I think this is where we saw this in the demo. I wonder if this is right after, like right where we start the demo. Oh, 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 are you ready to be sent out into the world? Uh, yeah. Let us see you off then, but first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours, and yours alone. Zael, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Huh. Thank you, Elder Mist. Valir, approach. The time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Huh? Understood. Garl. I get one too? Ah, oh, awesome! You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. <sighs> The mists are unclear in your case, but appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long, tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Extul, to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extul and speak this one's name, which is... Extul, cool! Oh, girl! Oh, well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Oh, oh, oh. And we get the No Wait trophy. And so it was that Zael and Valir were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior Cook and Toe. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Hmm. Nice catch. So this giant's name is Extol. No way! That was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride! Who knew the world was so big? 
so what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level then? There's only one way we can go from here anyway. And unfortunately, we can't use the statue again. X tool is inactive. Too bad we don't have a name to give it. Hmm. But I'm sure we will soon, my friends. And this is actually where the demo started. So for those of you that have played the demo or uh, seen the demo or anything like that, this is this is where it started. So we're we're on this beautiful area here. Wish we could make it. Oh my god, it's just like the the they just do such a wonderful job, y'all. So in here we can find a chest that has <gasps> A solstice mage ring, which we are immediately going to equip. So I believe party members recover one MP when they time a block. So we just put this on somebody and they have it. It's it. The entire party has it the same way that uh, the abacus works, right? So that's a that's a huge pickup and potentially something that can be missed if you, I guess, aren't very thorough. But I feel like it's pretty simple to find that. We also get 90 golds. You love to see it. We could also hop back up here, which leads to the other way that we could have gotten down, but see no real reason to do that. We're very quickly going to start meeting some characters that I just found amazing in the uh, in the demo that we, we were able to play before the game released. Looks like we're not able to find anything else. I'm not sure if anything changed from when the demo came out to now, you know? But I know we can take down these babies. Now, we're going to see if we can boost enough. I don't think we'll be able to kill him. Oh, so close. I was seeing if maybe we could do it before he attacked, but no such dice. We'll go ahead and annihilate this one so he can't attack. And take down this one. You'll love to see it. We also get a little item there. 36 experience and 3 gold. Let's pick up some more lettuce. You can never have too much lettuce, right? Let's see what we can find up here this way. And the music chant, like the, this like drum beat. Oh, so good. I love seeing the background areas too. Some more tomatoes. And it looks like we get a big chest here. A rainbow conch. Y'all, that is a chrono trigger if I've ever seen one. Rainbow shell, rainbow conch. That is one of the collectibles that we can get throughout the game. That is something that we're going to want to make sure that we get all rainbow conches. Super, super important for us because we are going for the platinum trophy. Don't forget. Nice. Make ourselves a nice little passageway here so we can grab... Some more potatoes. Man, I just, I, I, I know, I, I just, I can't, it's just so good. And reveal. Hmm. I don't know who she is, but she is so cool. So cool. Also, I'm kind of wondering Obviously, no spoilers in the comments, but I'm kind of wondering if that person is um, number three that we saw in the last episode, that, that council there. There was one, two, three, and four were their, their names, I guess. So in the demo, once you leave that little area, you're actually brought to the first town, but here we're going to head to the Moorland, the Moorlands. Oh, yeah. They're like gold and orange. Oh, it looks so good. We're going to go ahead and throw out another save before we get too far. And save four here. To New Horizons is where we are. Looks like we can head this way. I did see an enemy, it looked like. Oh, man. So cool. Another enemy there. Why don't we head around? Because that feels like the way that maybe we're supposed to go. And if you've ever seen me play anything, you know. The surface feels fragile. It'll probably break if we jump from high enough. Oh, yeah. Looks like we have some enemies there. Grab this wheat. And then let's see what these new enemies are. Are they ants? They're ants! Uh-oh. 
go ahead and boost here and see if we can moon ring. Oh, no problem. 108 experience for those two. Wow. All right. A friend of mine actually messaged me and said, these ants are messing me up. And I guess those were the ants they were talking about. <laughs> I don't know how they were getting messed up by ants like that, but hey, I'm not going to judge. Oh, there we go. We get some... Oh, yeah. I love shrooms, dude. Look at all those shrooms. See, I feel like, I feel like there's like, ooh, I need to see, is there more over here, like, hidden behind these shrooms? I'm kind of surprised that that's all that's in here, but, hey, I'll take free shrooms. Neat. Head back up here. Yeah, the gold, this palette is beautiful. Very autumnal. Looks like we soon can grab some tomatoes. And then that leads back to where we started, yes? Oh, we can't actually jump down from there. Interesting. All right. So I was right. This is the way we had to go. See, I told you. You just had to collect everything first, as is the way. Hello. Rowers, rowers, rowers. All right, let's see if we can get a big old sunball on these guys. Hmm. I wonder what they're vulnerable to. This guy's only got one health, so probably shouldn't have boosted there. That's okay. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. See, this is... All right, so we have two. So what we'll do here is we'll attack with her so that we can get a little bit of a boost. And then, if you remember, they said that our physical attack will be aspected with whatever element we are. So since we have sun, this should... Beautiful. Killed him anyways, but still, we are about to get another level up. I am, like I said, I am trying to not get level ups. Like, that is very much a... Trying to be careful not to get too much XP here. Just in case. I know it doesn't totally matter, but. I did test to see if Garl's stats changed when we got him, and um, his stats do change. Time has made the runes indecipherable. Hmm. I don't think we could do anything with those just yet, so let's move on. Well, we gotta grab the wheat first, though, of course. Gold feels hard to come by, so if, you know, I wouldn't recommend skipping. There we go. Get a good old boost first. She'll go ahead and get, do this so that we can also Moonerang here. that trophy it's gonna be a hard one for me to get oh this guy's so dead see ya 202 experience we did indeed level up we are now level four we're cruising some big stats there in defense in our defense stats, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to plus two yet again to magic attack, which was the first level that we chose for our boy Zale. Let's go ahead and grab that. So we're now at 24 magic. That's a beautiful. And our girl, our beautiful Valir, not Valerie, I don't really know, is going to go for the physical attack. Girl! All right, girl, what do you want to do, dude? See, I feel like he's kind of the tanky character. 
I don't want to do mana points just because uh, mana feels like you you regenerate mana, right? The, the, the way the loop works and blocking with that ring that we just got and all this other stuff. I feel like mana having a bigger pool just doesn't matter as much, right? Um, so we're actually going to go with... We're gonna go with magic defense. Just to, he actually needs that because those fireballs were doing a lot to him earlier. And we got some eggs from the ants. Ew. Ain't nobody want that. Looks like we will be able to use something on these crystals here. Oh, uh, yeah, free chest. We get a power belt. Obviously going to equip that right away. Uh, it raises your attack, so that's going to go on Valir. The combination of that with, with Leeching Thorn is going to be a nice little bonus for us. Oh, we get a ram as well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is... I um, actually don't have any MP to use. So we're gonna healing light ourselves. And then she's gonna go ahead and, uh, well, she's actually has to attack. Ah, the ants resist physical hits, or at least resist bashing, 20 damage. Definitely can see why those might be an issue. Let's go ahead and boost a bit here. And then we're going to Crescent Arc. Our boy's going to nourish himself here so he doesn't die. It's going to be a lot of damage coming out here on this turn. All three being able to attack. Summon. Oh, whoa. Boom explosion. All right, Zale's back joining the fray. Y'all, this is looking this is looking a little spicy. We're gonna go ahead and take this down. We're gonna go ahead and use some mushroom soup, which is going to uh, give the whole party 40 HP. Ooh, this is harder than some of the boss battles we've had so far. I, you know what? Maybe I'd take back the whole these ants are fine thing. The fact that they can summon more of them. Ooh, that's spicy. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to attack with her. And then he is going to boost here. Uh, yeah, he's going to boost. And then attack this guy. Unfortunately, that only counts for one on that lock there. Let's focus on taking this guy out first. And as long as they don't summon again... I think that's okay. We do have a full combo, so we're gonna go ahead and use that for Mending Light. Love how we've had to use Mending Light, uh, Mushroom Soup, like, dang. What a beautiful, what a beautiful. Ah, I love that, that combo. Gonna go ahead and absorb this. Still resist even though it's aspected with their sun element there. Does do more damage, even though it's resisted, but... Alright, Zale. It's got one HP. There you go, bud. 128 experience. Weird. It was less than the 200 and something that we got. I'm guessing that the... So, good to know, the ants that are summoned do not give you additional XP, so you really just don't want to let them summon. I was actually thinking, like, oh, wow, that, that's a really good grinding technique. Just let the ants be summoned, right? Uh, but, but no. No cigar there. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to go up and see if we can... Ooh, we have a new little underground area here. We're going to have to jump from a, right above here into there. See if there's anything. Fight this. Oh, whoa. Was not expecting. Was not ex Come on. That was cheap. It's 
not expecting them to come in from outside there. There we go. Easy fight. Get some meat for our troubles. I don't think there's anything over here, but just in case. More tomatoes and some lettuce. And I like the, like, I don't even know what that is, but it looks cool. Something on the wall there? All right, so what we want to do here is go around, grab some potatoes, of course. Oh, this is actually the way that we have to go. I was hoping that this was going to be like a little secret area, but... Nope, we got to go down. Oh, a skull looks promising. Yeah, like, what are those? Gems? Uh, ore of some kind? Kind of surprised that there's nothing down here. Maybe there is, and I'm missing it. Nah. How many times will I just sit there running into a wall, expecting there to be something? <laughs> not once have they revealed... Well, okay, that's not true. They do some... They have shown that there are things hidden. Hidden chambers and whatnot. Well, we definitely got to get up there, because that's a rainbow conch. Go ahead and fight these. Oh, yeah. Start with a boost. You'll oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sunball the ant right in the middle. Handy. Handy there. And then we'll moon ring these guys. And that should be... Might even be the end of this battle. Oops. <laughs> well, kinda. Beautiful. Love to see it. Yeah, so we can't get up there yet. That is a rainbow conch. And then there's something here that we can't interact with yet either. I have a feeling though, it's green similar to that portal person that we saw. Oh, whoa, we'll go swimming. That, that lady with the daggers there. All right, looks like we can actually go a couple ways. So we have a camp. We could save. We're going to keep going just a little bit. See what we can find. Maybe even finish up the moorlands here. Can get over here. So actually, it doesn't look like that. Ah, you know what? I think... Found teal, four teal amber ores. Maybe we can move this. Nope. Thinking that's just not quite for us yet. We were are, are able to get at least that chest though. We could be in the water here running around. I think that is probably all we can find over here. Maybe not the worst idea to stay in a camp and save, just in case. Back in the water. I wonder... That person might end up trying to fight us. That person with the daggers in the green portal there. So why don't we... Let's go ahead and rest at the camp here and see what we can do. And, my friends, we are going to end episode 3 right here. Because we've been going for a little while. But I am so excited. I'm enjoying this game so much. I hope you are as well. Thank you yet again to those of you showing up in the premieres. Don't forget likes, comments, all that stuff really, really helps me out. Uh, and I and I hope that if you are enjoying this series, please share it. Uh, let people know about it. Um, and this way, you know, it can do well on the, the old YouTubes. We're going to keep going no matter what. And I hope to see you soon for episode four, where we're going to tackle the rest of the Moorlands here and hopefully arrive in our first big city and meet that, that crew that the Elder Mist told us about. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to ants. Goodbye, everyone.